Today we welcome Dr. Tom Royer, IPM specialist in the Department of Entomology. Welcome, Tom. Thank you, Kim. Well, I'm happy to uh, share some of your expertise in IPM with our viewers. Okay. And today we're going to talk about scouting. Yes. What exactly is scouting and why is it important? Well, scouting is just mm -hmm. getting out in the garden, seeing what's going on. Uh, you can scout to see if you have problems. You can scout to see if, you have, if, if you're wanting to attract uh, beneficial insects or uh, any kind of, you know, if you can be looking for the good guys, you can be looking for the bad guys. But the whole idea is you want on a regular basis to know what's going on in the garden so that you can troubleshoot. If, you know, trouble occurs, you can figure out what's going on, when it occurs. Mm -hmm. um, you can sometimes get an idea of at what time insects or other pests are developing during the growing season. Okay, and in general, when we scout a garden, what's mm -hmm. the process that we walk through? Well, mm -hmm. keep, you know, keep your eyes open, look around. If you start noticing something that doesn't look right, get in closer and use a, a set of tools to examine and figure out what it is that's going on. But basically, you want to try and figure out what's causing, if, if you see a problem, what is the cause of mm -hmm. it. Well, what are some of the things that we want to look for in identifying a pest problem. We always like to think about looking for signs and symptoms and then the organism. For for example, for diseases, you want to be looking for signs of the disease, what that disease is actually causing the plant to do itself or our symptoms or signs, which is what the disease leaves behind as it's uh, causing a problem in a pest or in a plant. So we have a plant that's infected with downy mildew and right. you can actually see that Right. On the surface the of the The symptoms leaf. would be what it's kind of doing mm -hmm. it to the, the plant itself, making it weaker or whatever, but the uh, the signs would be the down, you know, the disease itself. Mm -hmm. Or you can be looking for, uh, for insects, you're looking for the actual insect or the type of damage it's causing or what it's leaving behind, uh, mm -hmm. if, it, if it sheds its skin or if it's, uh, you know, dropping thrass like a caterpillar will do when it's eating. Right. We have a plant here that's showing several different types of right. problems, unfortunately. Right. <laughs> um, let's look at a few of these. Uh, so we have some holes in the leaves. That's, that's mm -hmm. a, 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 probably an indication that you have caterpillar feeding or some kind of insect that's chewing on the plant, mm -hmm. a chewing insect. If it was a sucking insect, it might cause wilting or something like that. And we have here some yellow. I'm gonna yeah. go ahead and pull that up. Uh, and so that that's could a be sucking. That could be a sucking mm -hmm. insect, or it could be the start of some disease developing mm -hmm. there too. Um, that's part of the the trick is trying to figure out what's actually causing it. Looks like we have some symptoms of virus occurring here mm -hmm. that might have been brought in by an insect as it was feeding and okay. brought into the plant. So, so virus, uh, some of the symptoms are this like curled crinkled leaves, leaves mm -hmm. the discoloration that you're seeing, the modeling on the plant, the discoloration and the crinkling and stunting of the leaves. Okay. Now some problems that we see on the plants are actually caused by the environment. That's right. right. Okay. Yeah. Not everything's caused by a, a, an organism. How do we differentiate between those? Detective work. I guess is the <laughs> best way to do talking to people, uh, you know, getting more information, mm -hmm. trying to figure out it might be going back to your records and seeing, you know, what that plant needs if it needs water sunlight, something like that, maybe you can correct a problem that way, or if you didn't fertilize enough. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to know what you are doing to the plant to begin with, and then looking for uh, if the plant itself has an insect problem, if there's something there that you can attribute it to. So it to. might not, if it's um, an environmental factor, we might not see those right. symptoms and signs, I mean the signs that, that an insect or right. disease leaves. Exactly. Another thing I notice, sometimes we have uh, a group of plants where they're all expressing uh, some sort of symptom, mm -hmm. as opposed to in other cases where just one of a group has right. that. Uh, is one of those going to be more likely to be disease or insect? If, probably mm -hmm. if it's happening to everything, mm -hmm. it could be something environmental. Okay. If it's happening to one plant out of three, uh, it might, could be a disease or it could be something that's happening to that specific plant okay. uh, that, that's maybe more of a pest. Well, that helps us narrow it down a exactly. little bit. Right. Exactly. Let's look at some of the tools that we might use as part of a scouting program. Okay, great. Well, right here we have uh, a notepad and a pencil to keep records. That way we continually have uh, information on what's going on in the garden at an individual time of the year. 
And uh, this is a magnifying glass that can mm -hmm. help see some small insects. I always like to talk about having a reference. Mm -hmm. Any kind of reference that we can take out with us to help us identify uh, things is good. If, mm -hmm. we, if we can't identify it from something like this, take some samples and take them into a diagnostic lab or something like that. Sometimes we need to be digging into the soil, so it's good to have something that we can actually dig down and, and find things in the soil. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's other references that we have here. And even something like a sweep net to uh, collect things from tall trees or from the ground or anything. Mm -hmm. Anything to just collect samples and, and uh, bring things in that we can identify. And sweep netting through your plants is a good way also to see what kind of beneficial insects might be really, present. Really, very good, mm -hmm. yeah. It's, it's a great way to see what in general is in a garden, as long as you're gentle with it, okay. with the plants. Well, thank you very much. I know there's some other tools that we'll be looking at throughout mm -hmm. the course of the season, so we'll be looking forward to having you back. All right, thanks.